Yo, yo, my name is Nick, and I like the snow. I run things at Big Bear Weather and Mo. From the peaks to the valleys, I'm in the know, bringing you the forecast wherever you go. Oh yeah, did I mention that I have a site? BigBearWeatherMore.com. Oh baby, that's right. Always make sure you tune into the live and like my videos and subscribe. <laughs>
She's been doing all these shows and went and saw Mariah Carey and tonight's UFC 300, I believe. And I'm super bummed that I'm not there because, uh, I mean, I want to be with with my wife, but UFC 300 would have been an absolute dream. An absolute dream. I've been watching it since the very first. That happened in 1993 at McNichols Arena in Denver, Colorado. And then I lived in Denver f for UFC 2. Because they had it at McNichols Arena as well. Yeah, beautiful. Just be oh, you can't really see it through the window there. But it's beautiful. I told you guys I hope I'm right about being in the mid-30s. Look what the temperature has dropped down to in this seven or five minutes that we've been doing the video. It's weird. It's, it's always like that. Every time I start my car, if it's been sitting for a while, it's it shows it's a lot warmer than it actually is. Woo! Hold down both my windows. It is cold out here. Again, this isn't going to be the longest update in the world. I just wanted you guys to see what is happening now. And if it picks up and uh, really starts to come down, then I will, of course, give you guys more video. Probably be another video in a few hours. Ooh. Oh, it's so beautiful. I know I say that a lot, but it's true. It really is. It's really, really beautiful here. It's beautiful, man. I mean, come on, man. I told my wife, joking around, I was like, babe, what, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said that, right? So I'm kind of thinking about it, but you know what? Like, hang on. How funny is that, though? It's the truth, though. But yeah. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. I'm starting to get some ice accumulating on my window over here. Nice, baby, nice. Nice. Yeah, guys, those of you who have been asking what's going on, um, did you guys see that truck bounce? He just hit one of the gnarliest potholes in the whole town. Poor guy. Um, my father is not doing well. He's been in the hospital now for three days. He lives in Florida. Um, I was I was gonna be taking my wife back out there again in July to go visit with him. And now like four or five of my six siblings have already flown out to Florida these past couple days. And my dad means everything to me. And because of my business, it's, it's really hard to leave because I can't afford to miss any you know generation of income I just can't like I I just can't because I'm financially obligated um, to other people and if I don't make certain payments then it'll, it'll screw up their credit and I just couldn't live with myself so obviously you guys if they tell me that I ha that I need to get out there right away then nothing else matters I'll drop everything hop on a plane but I'm just super scared. Um, I don't want to go on that trip. What a Barney right there. Yeah, I don't want to go on that trip. That, like, that travel will be the worst traveling that you could ever imagine. Just worried about my dad knowing that he isn't doing well. Um, I'm trying to stay positive and take some of the positive stuff that some of my family who just arrived out there is telling me like one of my brothers told me that he's like hey bro i'm just saying dad dad looks looks and sounds good man i'm just saying so that's uh and i i i told him we'll say no more don't tell me anything negative all i want to hear is that good news stuff if there's anything bad let me hear it from dad or the doctor or mom or dad's girlfriend my dad's been with the same same woman for almost like 25 years or something like that. She's 
she's such a blessing for my father. Like she is, she's an absolute angel. But yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm super bummed out. Um, can't stop thinking about it. I'm just so grateful that I've I've got these snowstorms. I've got my business. Everything that keeps my mind thinking about something else. My wife being in Vegas thinking about that also. Not that I'm I'm like worried about that. Like you know, you know whatever happens happens. But uh, yeah, I'm just my mind is just not 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 in a good place right now. I've shed enough tears to fill up a bathtub just in these past few days. It's tough. And I'm not trying to be like, poor me, wah, wah, poor me. Because I know every single one of us goes through this. Every single one of us goes through this. It's just, it just really hurts. So thank you guys who have been there for me, showing me the typical love and support that you always do. I appreciate it very much. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the update. As I said, we'll be doing another update video probably around 10 or 11 tonight. As soon as some of the heavier stuff will be tailing off a bit. But if it gets really bad, I'll come out sooner. But until, until that point, I will talk to you guys later. Peace out. Happy April 13th, 2024. For those of you who pray, please, please pray for for my dad. Please pray for my family. Please pray for me. Those of you who don't pray, please keep us in your thoughts. Um, send us light. Send us love. Like, uh, just whatever the hell you guys do to get through hard things, like, please send it our way. All right. I'd really appreciate it. I love you guys. And, uh, I will talk to you later. Wow. I made it through that video without absolutely losing it. So I'm very proud of myself. I'll talk to you guys about to lose it so I'm going to shut it off now. Bye guys.